Welcome back, everyone. So it is National Caffeine Awareness Month, so maybe you need to take note of how much soda you're drinking. Even though most soda doesn't have as much caffeine as our cup of coffee or maybe even green tea, this caffeinated, carbonated beverage can have some serious health effects. Is it soda or is it pop? Soda. <laughs> I say pop. I say pop too, yeah. It's pop for me. I say soda. Whatever you call it, how much do you know about it? Half of Americans say they have a soft drink multiple times a week. How much sugar does an average can of soda contain? 30 uh, grams, 15 yeah. grams, I don't know. The answer, 32 grams. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 25 grams of sugar per day for women and 36 for men. Over time, the excess sugar is turned into fat in your liver which can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Next question, can soda affect your mind? Caffeine acts like a stimulant, so it's pretty much like taking speed. A study out of Australia found those who consumed 16 ounces of soda per day were 60% more likely of having depression, stress-related problems, and even suicidal thoughts. And just by consuming one to two cans a day, it can increase your risk for diabetes by 26%. All right, so the director is in my ear saying, leave her diet soda alone. I'm sorry, but I have to say this too. So you think you're safe with diet soda. Think again. A study found artificially sweetened soft drinks like diet soda were linked to an increased risk for stroke and even dementia. We'll be right back after the break.